Hello friends whenever we build a house the biggest chunk of money goes into buying materials like cement steel sand tiles granite and so on everyone who has built a house knows these costs run into lakhs of rupees now imagine if these costs reduce that is a big relief right recently new gst 2.0 rates have come because of this change building a house will become cheaper experts are saying that the overall cost of construction materials may reduce by around 3% to 4% that means if you are building a house worth 50 lakh rupees you could save around 2 lakh rupees just from this tax change now let us understand which materials are affected cement which earlier had 28% gst has now come down to 18% stone blocks like granite marble their gst has come down from 28% to 18% even sand lime bricks and some other construction items are now in the 5% category so when you buy these materials for your house you will directly get the benefit of lower gst the final bill can come down quite a lot That's why these changes are considered good news for common people who are planning to build or renovate their homes. In this video we will go through each item cement, steel, sand, tiles, granite, what was the earlier GST rate, what is the new rate and how much benefit you can actually get from it. By the end you will clearly know where the savings are happening. So watch the video till the end. First let us talk about the most important material cement whenever we build a house cement is used in large quantity whether it is concrete brickwork slab plastering or even tile fixing that's why cement is one of the biggest contributors in house construction cost earlier cement had a very high gst of 28% but now in the new gst rates it has been reduced by 10% so only 18% gst applies this change makes a big difference because 28% tax used to increase cement prices a lot for example on 500 cement bags costing around 2 lakh rupees the tax drops from 56000 rupees to 36000 rupees a saving of 20000 rupees so you can see This reduction gives real relief in house construction. But at the same time, you must also remember even though GST on cement was reduced from 28% to 18%, the prices in the market didn't really go down. Because companies and dealers increased the base price and kept most of the benefit with themselves. So in reality, while GST cut should help, the actual savings depend on how much companies adjust their prices next comes bricks and masonry items for things like fly ash bricks or sand lime bricks the gst used to be 12% earlier but now it has been reduced to 5% so here you get a benefit of about 7% tax cut after that let us talk about stone and finishing materials like marble and granite blocks earlier their gst was 28% and now it has been reduced to 18% that means here also you get around a 10% reduction now let us talk about tiles and flooring earlier on tiles whether ceramic or vitrified the gst was 28% but now it has been reduced to 18% so here you directly get a 10% tax cut and as you know a big portion of money goes into finishing items like tiles because they cover large areas of the house so this gst reduction is really helpful and house owners can actually save a good amount here after this comes paint and decorative items like paints varnishes and wallpapers earlier the gst on these was 28% but now it has been reduced to 18% that means here you get a 10% tax cut and since painting and finishing usually cost a lot in any house construction this reduction gives a good relief to house owners 
Next comes sanitary wear and bathroom fittings. Earlier, the GST on these items was mostly 28%. Now, it has been reduced to 18%. So here you get a 10% tax reduction, which is quite useful because bathroom fittings and sanitary items also cost a lot while finishing a house. Steel remains at 18% GST, so no change here. Other items like aggregate, sand, electrical items, glass, wood, pipes and fittings have no GST change. Now the question is, will the common man really benefit? Yes, it can be beneficial, but only if companies don't increase the base prices of these materials. If the prices themselves go up, then the benefit of lower GST becomes smaller for house owners. On the other hand, builders and developers will definitely gain more because they buy materials like cement in bulk quantities. So even a small tax cut adds up to big savings for them. So overall, if we look at it, this is a good step. People who are building houses will benefit from these GST reductions. The relief in cement, tiles and paint is really significant. However, there are some important materials where GST has not been reduced and if it had been, the savings could have been even bigger. These GST reforms will truly benefit you only if companies don't raise their base prices. If the government monitors prices, it can prevent companies from taking advantage of the tax cut, ensuring the benefits reach house owners. Over the long term, this can help you significantly in achieving your dream of building a house. Now, I want to know your opinion. What do you think about these new GST rates? Do you feel this is a good step for common people? Or is it mainly benefiting companies or dealers? Comment below and share your thoughts. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.